This is Ojuvindo. He's unique as an animatronic, in that he's not bolted to any floor or frame or fake tree branch. Instead, he swings freely, with no visible connections to his mechanics. Hopefully this adds to the uh, magic and realism of the character. As he will tell you, I was made by a couple. A traveling show. But there's a bit more to it than that. This cord holds not only the weight of the puppet, but the control signals as well. And though he may look light and fluffy, he actually weighs about five pounds. So all that weight had to be carefully balanced. We've got four servo motors in the head, while up top we have a DC motor for the head tilt and an Arduino control setup running custom software written especially for him. But all that only exists to make the character and his backstory believable. Ojuvindu is of Romani descent. According to him, he was made by an old gypsy couple 60 years ago. To draw crowds in times when the fortunes fell low. This backstory influences his voice, his clothing, the carving style of his stage, and the amount of aging that was put into every piece. It even influenced the choice of what movements to give him. Hey, check out that funny shaped head. What was that made from again? From a dusty old sack that he had healed magic charms. Ah, right. And that's where we could say his uh, life force comes from. The residual magic that was left in the bag from the charms. For that reason, his arms and his legs just kind of hang there. His life force is literally all in his head. Every piece of Ojibindo was carefully designed and themed, which hopefully results in a, a character that is captivating, unique, and just plain fun to watch.